I'll let you in on a little secret today. It's uh, July 26th. And uh, it's my birthday. Well, if you uh, haven't seen this cab before, it's because uh, I'm just trying to turn down the AC. It's the combine cab. I'll just give you a little tour. That's my yield monitor. That's where I control the combine. That's the steering wheel. That's where I come in. That's where I hide all my trash. And that's the view out the front. We're just getting ready to go harvest some wheat. We started yesterday at Sandy and Jessica on the buggy. Jack's gonna bring some wagons. As I said, we started yesterday. I didn't film much. It's just hard to get started. We have a newer head to us. Mac Don Draper head and I was just trying to get set up and I also had a good, I can call him a good friend, uh, Australian Nuffield scholar Richard. He was hanging out with us since Tuesday. He was riding around the cabin. It was actually kind of cool. He's never been in a combine before. Uh, his family manages uh, and, and he has a business uh, managing uh, vineyards in Australia in the south there and uh, so he's never really had a chance to ride on a combine so uh, he quite enjoyed yesterday just hanging out with our family and uh, partaking a little bit here in weed harvest. We didn't get much done yesterday but 30 acres. It seems to be running really good. I'll, I'll update you on that once we get going, but we're just going to head to the field right now and give it a shot and uh, I'll keep you uh, along for the ride here. So all I'm doing here is just going to bust apart the straw windrow a little bit so I can kind of get at the stuff underneath to see what it looks like because we're dropping the straw to bale for the sheep. So we're just going to take a look here and see what kind of job we're doing. You're never going to be perfect, but we don't want too much volunteer wheat. Because the chaff and stuff is a little lighter, it's easier to get to the bottom and see the wheat. So, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit better job. Uh, we're probably going to cut a little bit higher too. The stubble's. A little shorter than I like. I think we'll do that adjustment. It'll be less material going through. Uh, there's lots of lots of straw here for the sheep, anyways. But I'm trying to see if we got much going at the back. So it gives me an idea of what it looks like and because I have uh, a monitoring system in the combine I kind of know where it was when I was combining the swath and we'll make some adjustments to drop the, the bars and I'll show you that uh, in the combine but right now uh, we're just putting a little bit more over the back than I want. The wheat's running pretty well. Well it's running really well. I was hoping for just a smidgen more but that's like most farmers but it's running about uh, 100 bushels the acre right now. We're into some better stuff here, so uh, I expect the yield to go up. Uh, we kind of lost a little bit of yield on the headlands with the uh, downed wheat, but uh, we'll see how it's running today. But with that, I think we'll get started. finally kind of ticking along here I uh, just still kind of fighting with my head just getting it set right uh, trying to get some of this wheat that's a little bit down and uh, just getting the cut height set I think we're kind of finally got things where I would like them uh, the only issue we did have is we realized the fuse that runs the motor for my moisture tester to kind of auger the grain through it and back into the elevator to go up in the bin behind me 
uh, it was uh, blowing so it wasn't really recording moisture uh, yesterday at all which is fine because it was a pretty consistent moisture because we got a late start in the day uh, today it's a little bit more critical because we started earlier and there's a bit of moisture in the weed and it's dropping down so we started out it was about 14 and a half uh, looks like now we're kind of in that 13 and a half range uh, today so it's nice we don't have to dry any wheat even though we've been working hard at trying to get the uh, dryer ready to go uh, they're coming Monday to hook up the gas for it um, but things are just kind of tick along here I gotta just uh, spend a little bit of time calibrating the yield monitor yet but uh, we'll maybe do that once we kind of get going here a little bit more sample looks good quality looks good uh, happy overall kind of feels like we finally got a rhythm here so we'll uh, do another couple buggy loads uh, I don't know if we'll get the drone up today it might be tomorrow uh, but uh, we'll have to get this straw bailed at some point but we're not really worried about that right now so I'm just gonna keep working away here try to get my loss figured out and go from there I got two heights set on the header, kind of one for just the normal cutting height that we want, and then I have one set to go a little bit lower to try to shave some of that weed off the ground that's a little flatter in spots. You can see there's a few out there, driving by one right now where my hand is there. It's a tall weed variety which is good for straw, but it's making this a little bit harder to combine because uh, we're putting so much more material through the combine it's harder to separate the grain from the straw so that's why I gotta kind of keep an eye on my loss and try to keep my combine speed down a little bit so the combine can handle all the material going through it uh, wheat's the toughest one because as I said there's so much material going in soybeans there's a lot less uh, and corn there's even uh, a lower amount of stock lots of grain with corn but not as much stock so anyways uh, we're coming up to the end here and uh, we'll turn around and uh, we'll give you a shot of Jess riding the buggy beside the combine here Still dealing with some flat wheat. We're getting most of it, if you can see. Not all of it, but this said most of it. Just gotta get rid of some branches that uh, blew down the windstorm that we had. I have to put you down. Take a look at what the loss looks like. We'll go out here where it's a good spot. Looks pretty good. Just uh, looking for kernels on the ground and don't see a whole 
Don't see a whole lot. There's a spot I checked already and just kind of push back some straw and take a look. This is why I wear pants even when it's hot. Out. So there's a couple right there, some smaller ones. But it's expected, so it's good. E, just. It's getting a little dusty out there. I think Sandy's getting bored. It's uh, not the speediest process today. We're making about three miles an hour ground speed. Uh, just putting enough straw through that we're trying to uh, make sure that we're not putting too much weed over. And the straw is a little tough, actually, too. A little bit of green left in it, so uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But we got about, uh, well, we're getting close to 60 acres off today, which is pretty good. It's seven. PM, kind of hoping that we can get, I don't know, another 10 acres off yet tonight before it gets tough. Uh, we'll be able to wrap up this field tomorrow. We'll start a new one. I'll show you the, the map. Do a turn on the headland. Getting into the kind of these triangle pieces, it gets a little bit more difficult to uh, get the header down. But then again, a whole bunch of straw. And that's how I wanted to call my last night. So we don't want to do that. Eight thirty. We're still trucking along here. Got. Uh, 70, 67 acres combine today. Uh, we're kind of out of the down wheat now, so it's a little nicer combine, but I got a feeling it's going to get tough, uh, tough soon uh, with uh, the sun going down. So that's loss on the display. That's rotor loss, that's sieve loss, and then tailings return. Rotor loss here is starting to creep up. So I'm wondering uh, if it's starting to get tough out uh, side. Uh, and the dew's starting to set in, so we might not. Uh, I was hoping to get this field finished. You kind of just have to go over to the edge of the trees over there. There's a side road and uh, we'd be done this field other than a couple small fields in behind but I don't think they're quite ready yet because they're planted quite a bit later. So I don't know, I think uh, yeah, I feel like it'll be shut down here just because the rotor loss is really all of a sudden jumping. So uh, we're going to turn on the headland here and see what's going on. trying to cheat the system 
just raise the kiting height of the head to see if I can reduce the rotor loss and put that straw through. It seems to be working a little bit, so I'm going to try to keep plugging along here, but as you can see, the sun's going down and I think it's probably going to get tough, so I might just call her quits. It's 8.30. We had a good run today. We got 70 acres off. Uh, maybe start pushing a little sooner in the morning, knowing that uh, the dryer is going to get natural gas on Monday. Uh, so that means we can probably start drying some weed. So we might try to go as soon as we can, uh, kind of like 15% moisture, uh, and shove it in the overhead where we can dry it. And when it starts getting dry enough, we'll put it in the other bin that we're dumping into right now. So I think with that tonight, I'm going to shut her down and uh, start back up tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.